The PV350 pressure vacuum module converts pressure or vacuum into a millivolt output which can easily be read by the meter. The reason I'm using a pressure vacuum module is it has a long tether tied to the measurement end so I can go inside the vehicle on long road tests. Also it's much more accurate than an older analog gauge. Now what I've done is I've put an end on this which has a quick disconnect and I have a number of other fuel fittings and vacuum fittings and even a compression fitting where we're going to take a compression reading of this engine. The first step is to take your meter and turn it to the 300 millivolt range. Now I'm using the Fluke 73. Yours might have a 400 millivolt range. Now I know because of the reading on compression it's going to be less than 300 PSI. So I'm okay choosing that. If it was going to go over that I would choose the DC voltage scale and range to the 4 volt reading. The next step is to take my PV350 and switch it on to PSI and then insert it into the input jacks observing the polarity. Now you can see I already have a reading on the scale. I want to take a screwdriver, get to the zero knob and rotate it slightly to zero out the instrument. The next step is to take the spark plug out, install my compression adapter, and then attach my PV350 to the adapter. The engine's pretty warm and we've removed all the spark plugs. I've also held the throttle wide open. Now we're going to go ahead and crank the engine. Okay, and there's our compression reading. It was fast, easy, and very accurate.